this is a question with regard to cleansing the kidneys and uh, the question is uh, you're from a, a spouse who is asking on behalf of her husband and she says my husband has polycystic kidneys and he tries to drink three liters of water a day however I'm also reading that lemon juice without sugar is good for the kidneys helping with kidney stones can uh, you shed s you know, can some of the water be reduced and replaced with lemon juice and perhaps some honey um, the, the answer is uh, first of all um, drinking too much can be just as harmful as drinking too little uh, the kidneys can take care of uh, up to maybe uh, typically six to eight glasses of water these are eight ounce glasses of water per day unless you know the person exercises very vigorously and may need more uh, there are also fluctuations uh, depending on the season during the summer season and there's more perspiration there's also more loss of fluid and that needs to be replenished more but uh, typically six to eight glasses a day uh, keeps the doctor away in a way and so uh, it's important not to over water the system because it will dilute uh, you know, it will basically um, make the kidneys uh, you remove too many minerals and vitamins that uh, should be retained uh, the kidneys have the capacity remind you, you know, that the kidneys are very small organs so they are, are capable of retaining and holding back and uh, putting vitamins and minerals back into the circulation but if you drink too much then uh, the kidneys and uh, you know, can, you can no longer uh, do this properly and you will lose a lot more minerals and vitamins than, than you can replenish uh, from the foods that you are eating so it's good uh, to make sure that the urine uh, stays uh, you know, colorful uh, that is not completely looks like water uh, because then you may be drinking too much uh, but it, on the other hand it shouldn't turn dark yellow because that shows you're not drinking enough so that would be the best uh, way of measuring you know, testing whether uh, you're drinking the right amounts make sure that there is some color a yellowish color in the urine but uh, don't allow it to go to dark yellow um, otherwise uh, I, I would uh, you know, not regulate the water intake by any uh, other thing because once again there is a certain amount of toxins that the kidneys can get rid of you cannot wash out cysts uh, simply by drinking more water but uh, you can dissolve kidney crystals and kidney stones and that's why I do recommend the kidney cleanse which is in my book The Amazing Liver and Gallbladder Flush and you can find the kidney cleanse tea at uh, places like presentmoment.com uh, presentmoment.com uh, they are located in Minneapolis and they are already putting, they're putting the ingredients uh, the right amount of ingredients in the tea, they're mixing it up properly and it's ready to go uh, to be brewed uh, at home and you can uh, drink that for 21 days uh, one cup each day and that uh, helps to dissolve crystals and stones of any kind and that's, that's one of the best things you can do the other thing uh, you mentioned uh, lemon, lemon is also excellent to break down crystals uh, and, and stones uh, in the kidneys and uh, even in the gallbladder it's good for calcified stones so what uh, the, 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 the amount of lemon of course uh, you know, should, should be higher than just a slice of lemon a day um, ideally one or two or if you can even more uh, lemons per day uh, that uh, you, you know, choose and then you can dilute it if you like a little bit but uh, the more concentrated it is the more effective it will be for breaking down uh, crystals and kidney stones, kidney sand um, you, 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 you're better off not to add anything including honey uh, but for the first morning drink uh, I always recommend to drink a glass of warm water to help rehydrate the kidneys and then drink another glass of warm water with uh, the lemon and that can be where you can add a whole lemon uh, you know, and uh, a teaspoon of honey that's fine but then I would add another at least one or two lemons during the day 
uh, that should be completely without any honey or sweetener, uh, just on its own, as concentrated as possible to dissolve the maximum amount of crystals in a short time. Uh, asparagus is another good uh, your food to take in larger amounts uh, during this time of uh, your helping to dissolve uh, crystals, stones, impediments uh, in the kidneys to allow the cysts uh, to uh, your deflate and to be broken down. Uh, again, cysts only develop when there is obstruction, when there uh, are impediments, uh, when hormones no longer uh, can regulate normal uh, growth of cells. Uh, so your congestion in the kidneys uh, is best dealt with by removing crystals that have accumulated there. And asparagus is a very potent crystal dissolver. And you can uh, you see the effect very quickly after eating asparagus. Um, wait for an hour and then if you, you go and pass urine uh, you'll find it becomes smelly already. So the, the asparagus enters the kidneys straight away after eating it. So it's, it's very, very, very potent uh, you know, and very powerful uh, breaker, uh, stone breaker. Uh, so I, I would suggest he eats that on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, apart from that, making sure not to eat animal proteins uh, that can uh, you know, cause major kidney problems and cysts of any kind not just in the kidneys, and uh, to have more vegetarian uh, food items. Also be careful with cheese and cow's milk, because they also con contribute to those kinds of issues, including prostate uh, problems um, and urinary tract uh, difficulties.